Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Asparagen and this is the Escapist with the Jungle Compound Layout. And Shuk Nor. We are still on day 8, because last episode a lot of terrible things happened. Wait, what last episode? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Nothing really terrible happened in the last episode. Don't know, have no memory, lost completely sense of what happened in the past. Let's try to make a good, decent episode. Attending, attending roll calls. Not stealing stuff that I'm not supposed to steal. And check who's gonna have a cell shakedown. Shall we? Let's do that. I'm gonna take your com for a file. Fanny, what were you planning to do with that file? Now, from what I could tell... You only need to be here in the roll call once. And once we check who's gonna have a cell checkdown, we can just let it go and go do useful stuff like this. Picking up comps, picking up nails. Someone said, another file? You guys are filing a lot. See what I did there? I'm gonna pick this comp as well. I'm gonna make all of them calm shifts, and I'm gonna give them to Tommy Fanny because I need this roll of duct tape that I didn't even know you had. So let's do that. What opinion do you have about me? Still not enough to be a lover. Nope, not a file. Not a file. What about a book? Do you like a book? He doesn't read. He maybe doesn't know how to read, but that's enough to bring the roll of duct tape to a price that I can pay. And I could buy this wire as well to make the whip. Because I need to get a good weapon. Because I'm weaponless. From a stupid mistake that I've made in the past. What past? I don't know what happened in the past. I have no memory. I think I already have a razor blade. No, I don't. So I could also use that one. Wait a second, what a geezer! Please give me that. Oh, right on the edge of not having enough money. There we go. Wow, this is awesome progress on the first few minutes of the game. I don't think I have intelligence, right? Three more! Honestly, three more! Make that huge difference between being able to make a whip or not. Okay, so let's just leave the items here. I will not have a cell shakedown, so I'm fine. We need this roll of dead tape for something. And I can't remember what it is, because again, I have no memory. This will be the no memory episode. Wait a second, I know! I needed to make the armor. So that I can be the best soldier there is in the world. I'm gonna start attending the routines. Because my guard heat is always... Whoa, 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 Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It was because I picked up Water Gazer. Ah, I want to steal your stuff. But I can't have more guard heat. I need to practice on the gym as well. So I should start doing that. So what I'm going to do now is practice my brain. If the game lets me. Or if the guards let me. They are the ones running the place. So their warnings show up now as a red text box in the world. That's amazing. Let's see what these guys have. A travel. I'm gonna take... You know what? Because there's no cooked food in this game, I realize I should take everything from these guys and give them to other people that I want to be friends with. That's the best approach. I mean, I'm not doing anything with these items. They're on the west side of the fence, and I cannot use them because they are illegal. I cannot bring them to the other side. To the dark side, of course. This is the light side, this is the dark side, in terms of Star Wars. I need to give this to someone to get rid of it. What about, what about, what about, what about Owen? Not really buying anything from you, but there we go. We can still be friends. And they like this. They like this type of stuff and the travel. There we go. It didn't like the travel. Come on, it's a good piece of tools. He didn't like the herbs as well. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. 
getting to work, making some more underpants. I uh, know. Don't take the wire, dude. That's gonna be my next weapon. The one I'm gonna spank your ass with. Let's make some more underpants. These guys keep crapping their pants and eating new ones. As they know, they are sharing the place with Chuck Nor. Chuck Nor's cousin. That doesn't give them a rest. I haunt them at night. Their dreams. Their nightmares. They don't dream about unicorns in this prison. They dream about Chuck Norris and how it's gonna be the next spanking. <laughs> there we go. Got this. I'm gonna train my brain. Let's study a little bit and know how to make... Here's a calm. I can have that. Give it to me! There we go. And now I'm gonna give him back because I want him to be my friend, but an improved one. Here we go, Owen, a calm shiv made from your own calm. Don't you enjoy that? I basically did all the hard work for him. Now, there are a lot of people, it seems that they have discovered the secret of this prison. They say that it's a very good idea to ship down this wall over here, besides this ladder and use this place to gather your illegal items. It will also give you access, if you break up this wall on this side as well, to unlimited amount of wood and metal. Now, I like that. I like that idea. And if you go up this ladder, you might have some more room to store the illegal items. Because, let's just face it, this corridor over here this corridor is not enough for all of your illegal items. I'm not sure if they meant you should go up the ladder or not, but I guess that's just it. So I am gonna attempt that. Dudes, I read every of your comments and I do appreciate all of your help as long as you don't spoil the game. A lot of people also are already commented what happens when you go out of the wall with that jeep. I don't want to know! I want to find that by myself. I will cry, I will laugh, but we will have a good time. I hope. I'm gonna take this timber and I'm gonna craft finally my whip! There you go, I'm ready, come for me. I need now a sheet of metal to make my armor, but... I also need a Prison of War outfit, and I'm not gonna use my own. I want to have a replacement when I want to get undressed and take out my armor, because when you go to shower, you want to take your armor off. You don't want it to become rusty. That's just a silly excuse for not using your own Prison of War outfit. I'm gonna use this exercise period to increase my strength. It's one hour, and if I attend every day, it might be a good upgrade to my health. Jim Bob, what do you have for me? A sheet of metal. I could use that, but I'm missing three dollars. What about if I make you my friend? Let's see what I can give you. I can give you this bar of chocolate. I have a lot of files. I could make a contraband pouch, but I can't remember what I need for that. I need a roll of duct tape and a foil. So, I can make one contraband pouch. You know, if I'm gonna use that tip of going to the west side with all my illegal stuff, I'm gonna need a lot of contraband pouches. <laughs> I have here two timber, one of putty, roll of duct tape, a lot of files, and a grappling hook. And I want to take all of them to the other side if I'm gonna use it as a storage. Now, I want to make a pickaxe to bring down those walls. I know I could just use how I used to chip down my wall, the fork, but I want to use a good tool. I want it to be fast because I'm probably going to do it during the day and it's going to be risky. I have to be fast. No one can see me. I have to be sneaky. So I want to use the best tools I can have. So for a pickaxe, I need a tool handle, a crowbar, and more roll of duct tape. 
So, immediate objective, getting an armor. So I need to lower that guy's price on a sheet of metal. So let's give him some more comms. I'm gonna need a magazine for a poster, because if I ship down that wall on the library, I'm gonna need... Why? This guy has two comms. Dudes, do you have two comms at your home? I only use one. Maybe that's why it's almost destroyed. I need to cover up that sp spot where I'm gonna make the hole, obviously, because everyone can access it. Was it Tommy? Mm, nope. Who has it? Oh, but a sheet of metal is an illegal item. I need to be on the other side. Who was it? Here we go, Jim Bob. Was it you? There we go. Jim Bob here, have some chicken legs. No, don't go to the other side. Yeah, one dollar, dude. One dollar. Just gonna make these comp shifts. Oh, and now, myself, I can't go to the other side. This freaking alarm system screws up the plan so much in this layout. You know, it makes a total difference. I need Jim Bob on this side now. I'm gonna bring down my fatigue. I'm gonna give him my chocolate and the comps, and I will keep my magazine, my Playboy magazine. You know, the guy gets lonely in this prison. In the prison. Oh no! No! Jim Bob is not selling anything anymore. Dang it, I hate this. I hate when I find something I need on someone and then they stop selling that stuff. Oh! Sheet of metal, here we go, and a comb. Still don't know what the vines are useful for. Wait a second, isn't this... Jim Bob's desk? <laughs> he did stop selling, but um... He decided to put that sheet of metal on the desk. Maybe he already knew I wanted it. And because I'm almost his lover, he just gave it to me. So I'm gonna use this roll of duct tape, and now I need a prisoner of war outfit. Uh, because I can't beat anyone, I'm gonna use my own. Okay, I give in. I'm gonna use my own. I admit it. Let's do it. Plated prisoner of war outfit. Yes! That really looks like a powerful outfit. I love it. I like the look of it. So I have 17 strength or more, let's say 17 health. I have 34 strength, but I still believe I cannot beat these guys easily. So I should practice some more on the gym. So what I want to do right now is getting rid of these comp shifts. Second objective right now is getting the pickaxe. So I am looking for a roll of duct tape. And I need to make a tool handle. To that, I need timber and a file. I'm not sure if I need two files or just one. Just one. Cool. So that's that. Now I need a crowbar and a roll of duct tape. Let's try and make that happen. I also need a um, bonus roll of duct tape to make the poster so that I can put it in place when I ship down that wall. I am loving this episode. Who talked about cell shakedowns or bad times? No one. I am loving this. I have no memory. I have no idea what happened in the past. I have a lot of cum shifts. Dudes, come on. Who wants to be my friend? This is the new cooked food, the new sheet. Oh my god, I can't get on the other side, dudes. You, I want Odo. You wanna be my lover? I'm pretty sure you want. You have already a comm blade. I'm pretty sure you don't need a comm shiv, but hey. Uh, that's very close. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it here. Uh, these guys need me on the meal breakfast place. Breakfast, lunch. Dinner. Oh, good lord, I hate this! I am arriving at the place, dude! I can't fly, if you know what I mean! Jesus, lord. Okay, what do I need again? I have a terrible memory. I have an elephant memory. I'm gonna take that comb blade and that tube of talcum powder, and then I'm gonna give it to you, Lava Shrin. Because I feel you're a good man. With a fine mustache, look at that. I love the mustache on your face. Oh, 
Oh, that was not Lavashirin. Lavashirin is black, actually. 83. Let's see. It's your own Calm Blade. Own Odo. Can't you smell it? It should smell like you. Kitsune! You're not selling anything I need. So let's complete some more underpants. Because I love making underpants. But these guys, these are not normal underpants. These are underpants made by the fine hands of Chuck Norris. Not everyone is entitled to use Chuck Norris underpants made by Chuck Norris. This is not Calvin Klein's. This is Chuck Norris. A new brand of underpants and shorts and hats. Don't pick my stuff. Pretty sure you need the talcum powder because your ass must hurt because you're a guard get beaten by prisoners a lot, I would reckon. Especially me. That's my favorite hobby. Okay, here we go. Are we done? Are we done? Cool. This is the part I hate the most about the escape, is having to complete your job quota. It's boring. Okay. Roll of duct tape and a crowbar. I need to be able to buy a crowbar. I am pretty far from the price I need. Come on out, water gazer. Yeah. Crowbar usually costs like $60. That's a lot. Let's see, Kitsune. You don't have it. So let's search these guys' cells. About that bug that happened to me in the last episode. That was a bug! That was a bug, okay? That was not my fault. Clearly, everyone just wants me to cry. Because they think it's my fault. It was not! It was a bug, dudes. You gotta know the difference between a bug and when I play wrong. The poster is still in place. Well, I loaded the game. Okay, that's fair. But, oh, I'm gonna take this wire and razor blade. This is a second whip if I need one. Practically, I just need timber. But, uh, yeah, guys, I mean... Please, give me some support here. I am myself crying out loud in the past six nights because of that, because of that bug. I need to free up some space. Let's just leave here some more talcum powder. I need to give this chocolate. I'm gonna leave here the wire. Why is the comp shift doing here or what it is doing? And there we go. Let's make some comp shifts. I'm gonna become an excellent proficient at making comp shifts by this rate. So more talcum powder. Could really use it. And no comps. Okay. Tommy, give me that crowbar. Ugh. But he has a roll of duct tape and I could use that. So you don't really like me. Let's make that happen. I have the feeling that I gave you a lot of comp shifts already. I mean, you should be the lord of comp shifts already. So, give me that roll of duct tape. Love it. Thank you so much. Awesome progress. I didn't really need to bump my nose on the microphone. But this is an awesome progress day. Let's just hope that I don't get a cell shakedown. And I think I can already leave. They're gonna, not going to blame me for not being there. I am going to even pick up my illegal items. If I can. All of them. I don't want to risk anything, but uh, I don't have enough room. God dang it. But I could make the poster, and the poster is a legal item. That's a thing. There we go. I am smart sometimes. What else can I carry? I need to carry this timber and this one up on it. I mean, I could put him on the toilet, but uh, it will disappear on the next day. Either the next day or when I load the game, I'm not sure, but it happens on either of those two actions. So, let's see. I need a pickaxe. I need a crowbar for that. So, that's screwed up. I have a foil. I could use more roll of duct tape to make the freaking contraband pouch. And I'm gonna need a contraband pouch to go to the other side, to the west side of the force. I need a crowbar, dudes. Or- Oh my god! Come on! Just- Look at that crap! 
I just grabbed one guy for 5 seconds by mistake and got my guard hit to 70. Perfect! Okay. Cell toss. Jim Bob and Kitsune. <laughs> That's gone. I read it! There we go! I know how to read. I know how to pay attention sometimes. And we are all fine for tonight. I'm gonna put my items all back on the desk. Or maybe just wait for the next morning cell shake now. So let's get back to our bed and have a night night with Lava Shrin? What the <laughs> Did you guys swap beds? I mean Lava Shrin hates me. And Tommy Fanny really loved me. I don't like this switch. I bet this is a plan for Lava Shrine to cut my throat. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take the bar of chocolate with me and leave my shovel there. And we're gonna save the game because this was one amazing episode. What an amazing progress. Got some things done. That's progress for me. So the plan is to attend the roll calls at the start of the roll calls themselves. Because this allows me not only not to be spotted as absent there, because you only need to be here like five seconds. As long as I'm here for five seconds, I'm good to go. But uh, not only that, but you can check who's gonna have a cell shakedown. Lava Shren is gonna have a cell shakedown. He lives with me, but that's Tommy Fennett's desk. What the, f what the hell is happening here? You guys sound confusing. Very confusing. Let's take these comm shivs. Or comms. I am the one who's gonna make them comm shivs. I'm sorry. I'm just cleaning the desks. Nothing else. I love it. I do love this. And I guess they're gonna have to change it. In the future. I mean, it's just too easy to get comm shivs and give them to people. To have them be friends with you. So, please... Come on, just give me a crowbar. I don't want a crowbar. I want to buy it. I want to work for it. I don't want things easy. So let's just, just give them to Kitsune. I know he's gonna stop selling stuff soon, but you know, at least I can slowly make everyone my friends. And that's always good. I mean... I have an unlimited supply of comm shifts, so I'm fine. Didn't I sleep tonight? Why is my fatigue so high? Because of making that comm shifts? Man, making comm shifts is very tough nowadays. Before completing my job quota, I'm gonna check these guys' cells. Pretty sure I checked this one already, but I'm giving a second round. I don't like you to fight there, because now I don't know if I should pick items or not. I'm gonna pick your bananas. I like bananas. And it restores fatigue if I decide to make more comp shifts. Adam Guy, what do you have? You have a coconut. I'm gonna take your coconut and open it with my bare hands and show everyone the strength I have in my hands. Some nails. Some people spoils me on the com comment section on my videos about nails. You can use nails on the road where the jeep goes by to stop the jeep. That's pretty cool. But I think you need more than just nails. You need something else to craft that sort of trap. You know, I'm about to lose my tailor job, but uh... Ooh, I like that. Just take the bananas. Duct tape for bananas, I think it's a fair trade. Especially if you're a gorilla. You will appreciate the bananas a lot. Okay, a coconut for a calm. That's a good plan as well. So let's make some more calm shifts. You know, making calm shifts is right now... Dude, do not shoot me! Oh my god! I'm gonna be pissed off if you just shoot me now. I need this roll of duct tape. What for? I can't remember. Roll of duct tape... And a foil. We'll make a contraband pouch. That's it. There we go. My memory fails me sometimes. But uh, it's efficient when I need it. So, finally, as a final item to put the 
first step of my plan into practice, which is breaking into that place near the library. I need the pickaxe. I already have the tool handle. I am in need of that freaking roll of duct tape. I guess it's gonna be the most urgent item ever in this episode, or at least in this season. I mean, I am in need of roll, de <laughs> roll of duct tape so much. It even stops me from talking. Julian Depp, what are you doing with red herb and mango? Are you gonna make a salad for us? That's pretty cool. I want to give these comm shifts to someone. I need to complete my job quota. Something tells me that I'm gonna lose my job. Adam Guy, just please take these comp shifts out of my hands. Because you guys can have them. For as much as you can. I am the only one that gets spotted if I carry them with me. I guess their system just works for me. What are you doing in my room, dude? I'm gonna punch you if you decide to steal my stuff. Bar of chocolate! Uh, come on, people. Stop fighting. Less war, more peace, more love. Well, in here, you can't really show any love now, can you? Now, I would pick up some other job because I am pretty tired of crafting all this crap. Underpants, I mean... <laughs> Chuck Norris? Crafting underpants? Dudes, that doesn't fit at all. The thing is, this is the only job right now on the prison that allows me to pause the game like this while crafting. It's the only job there is around here where you can craft, which makes you pause the game. And in the end, it makes you use your time much better. Now, if I was using, for instance, the laundry job, you just have to go around with the items and the game is running. So you're spending time on the game and not really doing anything useful. Now, by crafting underpants, things are totally different. Dude, just give me my roll of duct tape or crowbar. What the hell is wrong with you? You guys... Really? Sleeping pills. I cannot use that. I don't even know how to use that. Exercise period. Let's make these muscles grow. Let's give this chocolate to someone. I mean, Mr. Novak hates me. So let's give him that. Chocolate is needed. It's protein. To grow your muscles. And be Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's like coming. Working out, it's like when you come. These guys must be thinking, what the hell is wrong around here? I want to brush my hair and I can't find a comb anywhere. So they're now going to start using... Dirt? No, not dirt. Maybe their hands to brush their hair. And then going to have disgusting hair. All oily. Disgusting, I must say. They're going to start using forks to brush their hair. And then they're going to eat with them after. That's disgusting indeed. Mr. Novak here. Have this comp shift that I just found for you. It might be even your own comp shift. Do they like toilet paper? I wonder. What about bottle of medicine? I'm giving these guys anything for a couple of friendship. 58. Let's see. Toilet paper. Dude. You always need toilet paper. I guess he doesn't use toilet paper. He must use leaves in the jungle. What about bottle of medicine? Oh, we like that. That's cool. So what else could I do? I guess I'm just gonna hit the gym and practice a little bit more for strength to use this pot of putty. This pot of putty has been here for a long time. I want to make the orange key. Actually, right now, what? why do I need the orange key? Maybe to escape, that's gonna be only it. To deactivate the generator. I mean... If I'm gonna access this place by chipping down the wall, I won't need the orange key anymore. This is how you dance. The escapist soundtrack. 
Let's see what Mr. Novak is selling. Probably still the same stuff. It's not the same stuff, but it's not what I need. I still wonder what do you need the flashlight for? Honestly, I can see everything up here. All the places bright and lighten up. I don't need no flashlights. And when you go underground, and you make a cave after opening a hole, you still don't need any light, because everything is brightened up. I guess the underground here is different from any other place. It's made from special dirt. It's bright dirt. There's only one person selling stuff? Come on! We need some other people selling stuff, you know? If we don't, prices don't go down. That guy doesn't have anyone against him, so you will just use the prices you want. That's the first rule of marketing, I guess. I'm no marketing guy, by the way, but I know how the market works. That's how it worked for World of Warcraft. With low population servers, people would make prices just crazy in the action house. Talking about World of Warcraft in the Escapists. This is kind of funny. I am looking forward to the Wars of Draenor expansion. You know, I've been a long-term World of Warcraft player, but I stopped playing it after Cataclysm. And between now and then, I would stop playing. But War Warlords of Draenor is looking so good. Why is this guy beating me? What the F is wrong with you? What? I don't want to lose my weapon. I don't want to lose my armor. You you better you better stay there. Don't come here and beat me. What the hell, dude? What was that? Are you full of energy and you need to just let off some steam? Dude, I'm not the right one to punch. You're lucky because I didn't decide to punch you back. If I would, you would be dead right now. That's what happens to someone that decides to punch Chuck Norris. I keep calling myself Chuck Norris. And I keep forgetting that I'm Chuck Noor. Chuck Norris' cousin. Not really Chuck Norris. Ah, one day without a crowbar or a roll of duct tape. But uh, this was not a bad episode. You got a lot of progress. I was talking about World of Warcraft. And no, I will not get distracted. Owen, Auto, and Kitsune will have the cell shakedown, so I'm fine. I am looking forward to play that, but I'm trying to resist playing World of Warcraft. I mean, if I start doing it, I know I will get into it more and more and more. When you get into World of Warcraft, you don't just play a little bit. You get into it all the way through. Especially if I start raiding or something. Because I was a PvE guy. I did PvP, but also PvE guy. I'm talking about World of Warcraft and the Escapists. Pretty funny. And I still have Lava Shrine here, even though this is Tommy Fennin's desk and supposedly Tommy Fennin's bed. Have no idea what is wrong with these people, but I'm gonna save the game and I'm gonna go right now, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love your faces. Bye bye.